Ah! Oh, what? I was drinking my Starbucks coffee that I, I live in the West, and I, it's forbidden for me to drink it. We're talking about Horizons Forbidden West. It's welcome to press start. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Cut out the music for the intro. Put this in. Bum, 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 Welcome to Press Start. Talking about Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, we all watched this together, uh, sort of. I was with Luke. Kami was on the stream. And uh, it looks neat. It does. It does. What What would you say is the neatest thing about it? Uh, how the what's the big handlebar mustache guy's name again? That guy. Arend. Arend. He Arend. has the most Pixar-looking, out of place animation I've ever seen in anything. Like if you uh, the clips on screen right now, that facial animation like belongs in like a like Toy Story or Bugs Life. Like that but does not that fit. I mean, it looks great. It looks great, yeah. but it looks a, it looks so out of place. But it shows that they're really trying with this game. They're they're putting well, so, a whole lot. Quick admittance, like they do have a tendency. Horizon does this. A lot of game developers are doing this, where every time they go into a cutscene, they get the cutscene lighting that kicks in, so it becomes weirdly like really well lit and backlit and it's not contextual to the scene like one of the things about the last of us part two that was so phenomenal is that all of the lighting always looked fantastic and it also never felt like we were going into a lit scene like it was always just well lit but it was because of the way that they designed the levels and the rooms that you were in and everything like that with horizon every time you go into one of those shots one of those cutscenes it looks very like it looks too pretty almost which i think is what you're you're touching on it it's not really grounded within the world it's more like this surrealist hyper realistic or hyper artsy stylized look and it, it looks good but it's not very grounded but i don't think that's what they're going for yeah that's almost exactly what i i honestly thought that the facial animation itself was a little bit out of place but it's one of those things where it's like, is that really a complaint? Your thing looked so good that it made me angry because it was a little bit too good for that. Like, is that really a complaint? It's not really a yeah. complaint, Luke. I mean, it's a good, it's a, a good complaint to have. A good problem to have. Guys, Shoot. You gotta make this thing is too good. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a lot. Cammy, what did we see? We saw more robot dinosaurs. Woo, which is new fun. One. The new ones. Uh, yeah. There was a, I don't know what, I don't think there was a name. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was a weird bird machine thingy with. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see a name. There's I didn't probably catch a name. There a bunch of random names where they were like a meg megalod mega mammoth or a me mega transformer. That thing. I um, I watched it with captions after the stream. It's a tremor tusk. Tremor tusk. Okay. Ooh. I like that. That's a good name. Yeah, the the weird bird thingy didn't we didn't catch a name, but it did have a sonic blast and it could swim. So that's pretty cool. The Trama Tusk uh, had people like riding on it, which was neat. Very Lord of um, the Rings esque, or riding on the big elephants. Yeah. Well, it, it's funny because right before it started, I was talking with Jacob, and I was like, "This is what I want. I want." like a grappling hook or something to increase traversal verticality. Cause when I played Horizon, I had played it like in the midst of also playing um, Breath of the Wild. And the traversal in that game is so fantastic. When I went back to Horizon, it felt so restricted and oppressive being stuck on the ground and having all, only these very specific handholds that you could climb in specific areas. So I was like, I just want more verticality. I want the ability, maybe a glider or something. And every single thing we discussed, you can watch the stream <laughs> back twitch.tv slash Luke Stevens, and you can verify everything we discussed was in the, the demo that we saw, which I'm very happy about. It was kind of shocking. I mean, I don't want to say like they were predictable, but it's like with a game like Horizon Zero Dawn, that's the direction I feel like a lot of us were expecting. Kind of like, that, all, all their problems could be fixed by things from other games, kind of. Where it's like, you see what Zelda's doing? You see what Just Cause is doing? 
Right. Well, and I think to some extent, like it's the natural progression. Like you have this massive open world, you have a beautiful world that you want to explore. It only makes sense that the next step would be to increase the traversal, make it easier to explore. That makes sense. Like that's the natural next step for where you go. The world looked beautiful as well. It did. It did. It looked what? nice. It made me want to explore it. They low key like implied that you were going to be traveling all along the coast of California, which I don't know how that's going to work with the map and the scale we're actually discussing. I mean, obviously, Horizon Zero Dawn scaled most of the four corners. Um, so like even the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs is in Horizon Zero Dawn. Here we saw, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Fran. So there's there's stuff that they're doing that implies they're going to do a condensed version of California, probably. But either way, I'm I'm pumped. I can't wait to see it. It's a big change. Speaking of big changes, swimming. I can't do it, but boy, can Aloy do it. And it looks th those water effects. I think there was one like weird camera angle. But when you're underwater and swimming, I don't know how it will control with that new PS5 controller. Uh, you know, a little bit of haptic feedback here and there. Maybe it's like, oh, big strokes with these. Probably not, but it's probably gonna be like, hold down A. It looks nice though. It looks like really good water effects. It looks like they might be uh, putting that swim into good use throughout this game, especially if it's along the coast there. Well, they they said there was um, currents, didn't they? So hopefully when it's on PS5, you'll get that. Uh... That like little bit of feedback. feedback feeling. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, and that would be, that's a great idea too for moving underwater. You can pick up little speed yeah. boosts kind of, just kind of go with the flow. Yeah, God, I, I love that. that. You, there's levels where you have to like fling yourself underwater across yeah. different areas, I guarantee you. Or maybe like evade different robot dinosaurs by using the currents to bypass them. Seems like a good stealth option. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, definitely. There's that one level in them. Um, Last of Us 2, where you're at, I, it was a bit before the aquarium, maybe, and you can use the underwater a lot. That's like right. in the broken wall? Yeah. Yeah. That's where it you, spoilers like... for Last of Us Part 2, that's where you <laughs> Remember you pop up out of the water. Yeah. No, that's later, that's at the hospital. Oh, in that case, beep out what I just said and put in a spoiler <laughs> for Harry Potter right here. here. There you go. Yeah. You see what you Harry, did, Luke? Harry... <laughs> no, I'm they sorry. haven't seen I, Harry Potter. It's ruining it. You better believe that, like, I know the crap out of that game after that damn critique. So, Ugh. anyway, but it brings back the discussion of verticality. You know, when we were talking about grapple hooks and gliders, obviously we're talking about like verticality up. They also added verticality down. So, adding underwater elements going under enemies, not just above them again just widening the scope of play which i love so there's some pretty good music but what was really eye-catching uh this time around i feel like we all saw uh aloy's movement and fighting was uh very pretty and laid out really well i don't know if some of that was pre-rendered with like that part where she like equips her spear with like the shocky thing and stabs mm -hmm. the ground like that looked incredibly I mean, it's nice a contextualized background so it's it's obviously dynamic i think what they are doing is they're using base lighting for for those things like we said when they go into these weird cutscenes or these specialty shots they light it very specifically and well which i think is why it went from like gameplay all of a sudden to cutscene quality as it zoomed on her face as she's putting the thing in the spear and then back to gameplay really quickly it's awesome. It looked badass as hell. Um, I wonder if that's like the one animation you have for combat that's been massively improved or if there's like 15 of these different things for specialty moves and things. But either way, I mean, the animation work is just phenomenal through everything we saw. I mean, all of the new dinosaurs, everything looked fantastic. I speak on new dinosaurs, you gotta fight a big old elephant and you gotta shoot its arms. Arms? It's, uh, it's, uh, what am I thinking of? It's, uh... <laughs> Is this a reference that I'm just not getting? No, I don't... Re tusks. Yeah, she just tusks. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if elephants had arms on their face instead of tusks, it'd be game over. They'd be done. If they could grab people like that. 
Oh yeah, that's a nightmare creature. I, I'm gonna trademark that one. I'll draw that later. But the elephant fight was cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah. I don't. Uh... Yeah. No. What I liked about the uh, the gigantic mammoth fight was that there's for one humanoid enemies on mm. its back. So they're shooting things at you, throwing things at you, controlling it, obviously. And it was cool that once the mammoth knocked them off, because he went like aggro, the way that that mammoth fought you changed once again, because it was then the mammoth fighting you, not the humans controlling the mammoth. So I I'm just excited to see if, if there's more like that, if this is effectively like their thunder jaw, uh, or if there's more massive scary monsters that they're gonna throw at us. I don't know, but either way, this looks great. But in the um, like trailer or the teaser or whatever, there was that bigger tortoise-like. That's right. Mm -hmm. That turtle thing, looked right? sick. Yeah. So I'm hoping there'll be bigger one, or just the same size but different types. I'm well. hoping they had a shark. That'd be sick. Big megalodon-looking oh, thing. Yeah. Like I mean, now that yeah. they have underwater stuff. Yeah. I, I can all but guarantee there's going to be a section where you're going underwater and uh, there's just a big megalodon. Kind of like in Sekiro with the with the snake, where it's like it's not really a fight so much as it is like a stealth section. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I didn't really like that, though. You didn't like that in Sekiro? That part kind of sucked. I, I liked it. I like the stealth aspect. I love Sekiro, though. That's one of my... One of my top favorite games. I'm playing through it again right now. It's good fun. Jacob recommends. But speaking of sec, sec speaking of recommends, um, we um. recommend you check out this gameplay for Horizon Forbidden West. It's really cool. It'll get you excited about the game. However, there was one little thing Luke tweeted about uh, that, uh, you know, Luke's big mouth and all that, tweeting and uh, getting canceled left and right. He uh, was saying that uh, there's no release date for this game, which is true. Uh, and then I believe, I don't know if you guys saw it, but uh, Gorilla came out and said like, we're, we're on track for this year, but they don't have a release date yet. But they, they just said development is on track. Finley, oh, that's right. They stuff. did just say on track, but they said yeah, they this said year, track. like a year ago. It's hard to tell. I, I'm expecting it this year. I have no reason to believe it won't. Yeah, and then everybody made, like, posted the the meme of like tell me x without telling me x and it was tell me your game's not releasing this year without telling me it won't release this year and then it was just a screenshot of them being like it's on track but we don't have a release date for you what baffles me is if it's coming out this year even just say holiday 2021 buy yourself some time settle the question it's coming this year the fact they didn't even do that tells me it's on the edge. Like they really are not sure if uh, if it's going to be ready in time. And a lot of that could be. I tried looking up the the new like whether people are back in the office yet in Amsterdam where Guerrilla Games is is uh, based. And of course now they've spread out. They've got a bunch of teams everywhere. But I'm sure they're in the polishing phase. I'm sure they're they're working their butts off. And it's tough to figure out what you can and can't complete especially right now but it still to me is a really bad sign that they don't have a release date even to say within the next like you know seven eight months it will launch so that to me says probably early next year the tweet would... you're on about is a uh, it says we don't have an exact release date just yet but development is on track and we'll have an update for you very soon E3 so probably. Unless they, yeah, I was going to say, unless they do a thing at E3, and it wouldn't surprise me if it's like New Year's Day. So New we Year's can't Day. say this year, but it's... It, it could be. I mean, the one thing that we, we mentioned um, that somebody in chat threw out there, like, well, if God of War is definitely coming out next year, what they'll probably do for their, you know, summer showcase, they're not at E3, but for their summer showcase, they'll, like, show the, uh, the little cinematic from God of War. And then they'll just do another mini trailer for Horizon with a release date. And then they'll act like that was a full complete show. Um, that, because other than that, I don't know what else they really have that's going to blow people away too much this um, year. But we'll see. They said they're working on new IPs. So unless they'll do a, like a teaser for a new IP we don't know about. But which could be great but yeah. i think 
the dangerous new ip rarely are like super like they're rarely show stoppers okay in conclusion horizon forbidden west looks really good <laughs> you should play horizon forbidden west i don't know how much that previous stuff will take in me and luke were arguing like crazy see you later everybody have a nice day drink your coffee yeah.